Hey guys, today our learning target is I can find the perimeter of rectilineal shapes with all sides given by finding the sum of the sides. So remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape, um, and rectilinear can be anything from a square or a rectangle to other shapes that are made up of squares and rectangles using all straight lines. So let's look at some examples. So we're going to start with a rectangle. And remember, our goal is to be able to find the distance around the rectangle. So if all of these black lines were stretched out real long, how long would it be? Um, and we're going to make sure that we're looking at problems where all four sides are given to us. So we can see that we do have the, the side lengths for all four sides. And we're going to use the strategy of finding the sum. So we're going to look at each the length of each side and add it together to find our total perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we look right here, we can see that this side has a length of 10. We know it's 10 because it's given to us, but we can also count the squares and that will kind of show us that it's 10 also. So if we just wanted to prove it, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10 units long. So I'm going to go ahead and write 10 right here. I'm just going to make a list of all of my sides so that I can add them together. So I know this is a rectangle, so I know that the opposite sides are equal. So I have one side with the length of 10 and another side with the length of 10. And that takes care of the two long sides. And then my short sides, I have one side with a length of 2. And I have another side with a length of 2. And now that I have all four sides written down, I'm going to go ahead and add those together. I'm going to kind of do some mental math here. I know that 10 plus 10 is 20, and I know that 2 plus 2 is 4, and 20 plus 4 is 24. So the perimeter for this shape would be 24. Okay, so now let's look at an example where the shape is rectilinear, but not necessarily a rectangle or a square like you're familiar with. So I'm just going to slide this over here for a little bit so that we can kind of focus on this problem right here in blue. And I'm going to use the same strategy for this problem. I'm going to add up the length of all the sides. But when you're looking at a rectilinear shape, you need to try to go in a certain order. Start at one place and go all the way around and then end up back where you started. Because we have lots of little places like this where we have to make sure we're including all of these sides that are slightly different from a regular rectangle or square. So let's start right here with this long side and we'll go we'll work our way around back to it. So this long side is 4, and we know that because it's given to us, but we could also count it and would get the same answer. This next side is worth 1, 2, 3. Okay. This next side has a length of 3. Right next to it, this, shape, this line right here is worth 1. Right next to that, I have another one. And then this last line connecting back to where I started is two. So now I'm going to add those numbers up. I'm going to start with four plus three, and I know that's seven. Seven plus three gives me ten. Plus one more is eleven. Plus one more is twelve plus two would give me 14. So I know that this shape, this rectilinear shape in blue, has a perimeter of 14. So just to review, we've looked at how to find the rectilinear shape, the, the, excuse me, the perimeter of a rectilinear shape, which is this one right here, or just a rectangle or a square, which are also considered rectilineal shapes. And we use the sum of adding up all of the sides to find the perimeter or the distance around our shape. So I can find shapes, <laughs> sorry, I can find the perimeter of rectilinear shapes with all sides given by finding the sum of the sides. Now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.